Volcanic activity Tests of regolith samples that were imported from the Earth's Chup natural moon as part of China's Chang'e 6 mission they showed traces of volcanic activity. As scientists have established, volcanic eruptions had happened about 4.2 billion years ago and about 2.8 billion years ago. These studies provide key insights into geological history the moon and shows the differences between the hemispheres of our natural satellite. Brilliant samples from the Earth's invisible side the moons revealed volcanic activity from 2.8 billion years ago and 4.2 billion years ago. These results are the first scientific analysis of samples collected by Chinese Chang'e 6 mission, which gained nearly 2 kilograms in June this year the lunar soil and rocks and delivered them to Earth. Research by scientists from Chinese Academy of Sciences has been recently published in two separate articles in Nature and Science. The Chang'e 6 mission started in May. The beginning June landed on the invisible side of the moon, in the Apollo crater in area of the South Pole's attack pool Aitken. Chang'e's program is about mission to the moon and its name it was taken from the Chinese goddess of the moon. First missions of the program Chang'e Chang'e 1 and Chang'e 2 included orbital flights around Silver the Globe. The third and fourth installment of the program is already landing on the surface the moon, including the first ever landing on its unbelted side. Mission Chang'e 5 and Chang'e 6 are sample return missions, which are having provide samples from the moon to Earth. The probe was built by scientists from Chinese The National Space Administration CNSA, is the Chinese equivalent of NASA. It was lifted into space by Long March 5th rocket from Cosmodrome on Hainan Island in southern China. This mission was the first mission to take samples from the invisible from the Earth side of the moon and delivering them to Earth. Total in the containers nearly 2 kilograms of lunar matter were sent to the planet. As expected, samples collected from the surface the moon contained a mixture of grains from different geological epochs. The constants bombardment with micrometeorites and high-energy particles emitted from the sun is formed by fine-grained dust that can mix freely. Measuring the abundance of isotopes in the lunar regolite and also its chemical composition, to determine the age and source, scientists have shown that many of these tiny grains of dust came from lava that got out on the surface of the silver globe was about 2.83 billion years ago. The scholars have found also, lava particles up to 4.2 billion years old. This research they show that the moon has been volcanically active for billions of years. Previous studies have shown volcanic activity on visible side of the moon that occurred at least 2 billion years that one. Analysis of the lunar matter delivered to Earth as part of Chang'e Mission 5 shows volcanoes could erupt on the visible side of the silver globe 120 million years ago. Testing and dating of samples from invisible from the moon's side showed that this side was volcanically active. Visible and invisible side of the moon differ significantly in terms of such features as the placement of basalts, topography, or thickness shells, which has been a mystery to researchers. Chinese scientists in the samples have found that lava, from which the basalt is created, and then the regolith, came from part of the coat the moon, which was poor in potassium, rare earths, and phosphorus. These elements are widely distributed in basalt rocks on the visible the side of our natural satellite. Scientists suggest that this imbalance it may be due to a collision that created the South Pole's strike pool Aitken. This is the largest known impact structures in the entire system the sun and oldest on the moon. According to the scenario proposed by Chinese scholars, the impact was strong enough to relieve all over the moon and caused it redistribution of rocks containing these elements. It could also melt the coat directly at the point of impact, eliminating them. 
This imbalance of elements may also explain another a strange difference between the two sides of the moon. Giant streams of lava basalt belly is covered by 30% of the visible page, but only 2% of the page it's invisible. Some of the missing elements on the invisible side, such as potassium and uranium are radioactive and emit heat during decay. Their absence in the mantle under the invisible side of the moon may explain the lack the molten basalts. The fossil from a billion years ago one of the, the earliest multicellular organisms. In the Scottish mountains, scientists discovered a fossil a microscopic organism that lived about a billion years ago. The find it contains two different cell types and can be the earliest organism multicellular, which has been discovered so far, the researchers say. The tiny organism that lived a billion years ago had two different types of cells. Some of them formed the core of the body, and the other were its the outer skin. As scientists studying fossil, perhaps it is this is one of the first forms of life built this way. The discovery suggests that animal evolution occurred at least one billion years ago and may have occurred in freshwater lakes, not in the ocean. Research of an ancient organism called Bicellum brazieri appeared in the journal Current Biology. The fossil that may be the earliest known to us multicellular organism, discovered by an international team researchers led by researchers from the University of Sheffield in the UK and Boston College in the USA. Ancient microorganism provides scientists with new insight into evolution of single-celled organisms into complex multicellular organisms. The fossil represents an organism that lies somewhere between them. The origins of complex multicellular organisms and the origin of animals is considered the two most important events in history life on Earth. Our discovery sheds new light on both of them. We found it a primitive spherical organism consisting of a system of two different types cells that are the first step towards a complex structure it's a multicellular. It's something that's never been found in the fossil record before. The discovery of new fossil suggests that the evolution of multicellular organisms it took place at least a billion years ago and that the early events the evolution of animals may have taken place rather in freshwater lakes than in the ocean, said Charles Wellman of the University of Sheffield. Scientists have counted Bicellum brazieri in protists simple eukaryotic organisms. The origins of complex multicellular organisms and the origin of animals is considered the two most important events in history life on Earth. Our discovery sheds new light on both of them. We found it a primitive spherical organism consisting of a system of two different types cells that are the first step towards a complex structure it's a multicellular. It's something that's never been found in the record before it's a fossil. Discovery of new fossils suggests that the evolution of organisms multicellular took place at least a billion years ago and that early events leading up to the evolution of animals may have taken place rather in freshwater lakes than in the ocean, said Charles Wellman of the University of Sheffield. Scientists have counted Bicellum brazieri in protists simple eukaryotic organisms. The team of researchers will now want to comb thoroughly the surrounding areas in the hope of finding equally interesting fossils, which could provide better insight into the evolution of multicellular organisms. How do scientists believe, these deposits may contain a wide range of microscamlins they document life in an environment other than the sea age a billion years ago. Newly developed concrete can help with air purification. We would all wish the air around it was as clean as possible. But how do we achieve that? Thanks to the Korean work engineers will be able to use it for this, concrete. Developed by a new type of activated concrete light can absorb pollution from the air and transform them into harmless products. Air quality in cities is shaped first all by road transport. 
From car exhaust pipes to the atmosphere nitrogen oxides and suspended dust are dangerous to health. But but Coragin scientists have found a solution that could help cleanse air in the cities. That, surprisingly, concrete, actually some kind of it. Concrete having the ability to purify the air is not it's a new invention. It was presented a few years ago. But what is scientists from South Korea have proposed, it is a special coating of dioxide titanium, which is able to significantly improve air quality. Description and results of the research appeared in the journal KSCE Journal of Civil and Environmental Engineering Research. Engineering team from the Korea Institute of Civil Engineering and Building Technology KICT, set itself the goal of creating a photocatalytic concrete whose ability to purify air from pollutants would be based its on its outer shell. In turn, this layer was made of the titanium dioxide. So far, various methods of its application have been tried. In the first approach, the addition of a combination containing dioxide was used titanium solution for already worked cement. The end result was not satisfactory, as this had a negative impact on the consist nature of the latter. The next test used pre-worked dust with the addition of dioxide titanium, which was then added to the cement, with which it has only just been, he's a mess. This time, a material with a slightly lower porosity was obtained than at the previous test, however, it still weakened the mixture. The third time the engineers decided to impose layers of titanium dioxide directly on the concrete with the help of spray. It is up to you the solution not only did not negatively affect the porosity of concrete, but even it made it stronger. And additionally, it allowed the applied dioxide of titanium to direct impact on airborne pollutants. The above layer of titanium dioxide is activated by the sun's rays. At this point, it begins to produce reactive oxygen species, RFT or English version, reactive oxygen species ROS. And it is they who then react with the present in the air with the pollution. This applies, for example, to ammonia or nitrogen oxides, which are aired by the cars. These compounds are broken down into chemicals that they are no longer harmful to us. Korean engineers tested their improved concrete in the practice. They put him in a road tunnel where to activate it artificial light is turned on the top layer. Then improved the concrete was left in the tunnel for 24 hours. After this time, the level was examined pollution in the air and it turned out that it was 18% fewer nitrogen oxides than before the test. And let us remember that for example, in the tunnels that drive cars, air because of the presence of exhaust gases is a thousand times more polluted than air outside the tunnel. A new type of concrete turned nitrogen oxides into a form of salt which under natural conditions, she could simply be washed off by the rain. Of course, of course in the tunnel itself, it was necessary to remove it manually. The next step of the Koreans will be to try increase the efficiency of the layer you develop. Because they have hoped that it will be introduced to the market. If such an invention had become widely available, this could significantly affect air quality in many cities that are currently facing this problem. Zero eight 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 eight